Hi everyone, I have got my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for January, so I am excited to finally be opening this up and sharing it with you. So I hope that you stick around to join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be opening up finally my January Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I have been trying to get through my, my unboxings one bag, one box at a time, and we are getting there folks. And I'm really happy about that. And then I can get caught up on watching videos. But anyway, to my viewers, my subscribers, thank you so much for your patience as I unbox these. I appreciate you so much and thank you so much for your comments, for your clicking on like. It really means the world to me. If you are new to my channel, I hope you click that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you join me for future videos. But today it's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, uh, this one costs $25 a month. Um, you get five full-size products in here. Value is supposed to be, um, well, the average is about $120. I've already figured mine. Mine fell a little short this month. My value is $99.99, but I had, um, with Ipsy, they give you two, two items that you don't have any say in. They send them to you, and then they give you three different categories and different items that you can pick from, and, you know, there's one category that I really liked, and, um, you know, I picked the item that I really liked and I know I would use. The other two were kind of like, eh, but, you know, the things I'm going to use, but I just... It just wasn't as fabulous as some of the other ones were, but still a $99 value, almost $100 for $25. So yeah, I'll take it. I'll keep getting it. But anyway, you probably haven't seen a like this in a while, right? I don't think I've had the Bailey's apple pie since maybe it was around Thanksgiving time, maybe that I got this. It was in the fall. So anyway, I thought I would have some tonight. And again, with my tippy cow, the uh, vanilla, it's a vanilla rum cream. And I put it in this twisted shot glass. So half of it is the uh, Tippy Cow Vanilla. The other half is the uh, Bailey's Apple Pie. And so I thought it would be a good combination, kind of like apple pie a la mode. So cheers, everybody. So good, just like apple pie a la mode. And then behind it, I got my coffee, so I'm good to go. But anyway, so let's get into this unboxing. Oh, I'm back against the case, maybe. So it does come in this little pouch. And um, so it's a pretty light, nice baby blue, and it's got Dream written on it. And first thing here, and they tell you about the uh, Glam Bag X. And I suppose if you're in the beauty world that you know who Patrick T.A. is. But I guess he was the one that designed this first Glam Bag Plus, maybe uh, picking up or choosing some of his favorite pieces. It comes with eight full-size products. You choose three. Uh, they say the value is up to 428. I already know my value is like $625. It's curated faves from celebrity makeup artist Patrick T.A. Exclusive act access to the hottest brands like Pat McGrath Labs, Huda Beauty, IGK, R, and Co. and more. I really don't know too much about those brands, but but mine is um, in the mail, so I'm excited about that. And um, they do have a little card in here. I know when you get the um, the the, uh, the smaller one, it tells you the value of everything that's in here, but the uh, Glam Bag Plus doesn't. So that's why I printed a list of what's in here. So the card just says January 2021, dream it. New month, new month, new year. Phew. And the sky's the limit. When you start small, a trim here, a bold lip there, your grandest glow goals will be within reach. Get into this month's theme at ipsy.com, whatever that slash is, backslash, dream it ipsy dream it and it says introducing refreshments so they must have started like um maybe a skincare line too if 
you're interested in that. And then inside it says beauty resolutions for your sign. And then get to know your glam bag plus where you can go on and see what's in there. Uh, let's see. And I'm Gemini. So it says be the trendsetter you are and go bold with makeup. Yeah, I don't really go bold because even when I think I, I go bold, when I sit in front of here, I go to work, I, I look the same. My eyes always look the same. Yeah, but I try. Alrighty, so let's get into the bag, trying to go in order here of how I printed them. Okay, so the first one, um, and it was one that they picked, and this is the concealer. And it's an air hug concealer, soothing medium to full coverage. And um, I don't want to open this because I, I don't use concealer. I probably need to, but yeah, I don't. But the value on this was $18. It's a 10.8 milliliter. It's a full size. It says that it, um, what it does, redness, breakouts, and dark circles of this multitasking and totally lightweight. Medium to full coverage concealer hides it all without ever creasing, caking, or fading. And then it tells you how to apply it, but I know I'm not going to use this. So this, um, if uh, one of my daughters don't want this, then it will probably go in a giveaway. And, oops, sorry, that's, that's gross. I don't know why I do that. So my next item is another one that they picked out. Let me be first. Nope, nope. Alrighty, so this is uh, the one they picked out called, it's called Sugar Rush. I can't even tell you if I got it. It's a lip, sip, vegan lip oil. Sugar Rush. I think it's by Tarte. So this has a $15 value. And it uh, says it's full size. It says... Thirsty lip season, a.k.a. winter, is upon us. Don't worry, though. This lip oil will help you get hydrated as the temps drop, like a glass of water for your lips. It locks in moisture with jojoba, hazel, and sunflower seed oils. Uh, how to use it? Just glide it over your lips wherever and ever. But, you know, I've never used, but it kind of looks dark. But maybe because it's an oil, it doesn't go on dark. Oh, maybe it's upside down. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. So maybe I will see if anybody else opened this and just see how, how it applies. Because I would probably never buy this, especially seeing this color. So same thing. If I see some other videos and it goes on kind of clear and doesn't look that bad, then I will probably use it. Otherwise, I'll see if one of our girls wants it. And the next is one that I picked out, and this one I was happy to pick out. So this is Pure Lease. It's uh, the sheet mask because, you know, I'm getting into the sheet mask. I would like to use it more than once a week, though, but I'm trying to do some of the other masks uh, once a week, too. So I'm trying to mask at least twice a week, but I would like to up that. So this is Blue Lotus and Seaweed Treatment Sheet Mask. And in the back, of course, it just tells you how to use it. There's a pack of six in here. The value on this is $36. And let's see. So it says, uh, these sheet masks are infused with seaweed extract. It's like a glass of water for your face to help hydrate, plump, and smooth thirsty skin. Even better, and anti-inflammatory blue lotus um, helps minimize redness and protects against the harmful effects of free radical damage. So anyway, I am excited to use this because I do love getting sheet masks, so I know I will use this, and this has a value of $36. So if all I wanted out of this box was $36, I've got my value, so happy with that. Next, we have the Butter Skin. And this uh, is a facial cleanser. Cleans and removes, unwanted, removes unwanted purities while enriching essential oils and maintaining skin's natural pH. So this has a value of 
$15. It's uh, 3.4 ounces, full size. It says what it does. Not only does this wash, face wash, remove makeup, cleanse skin, and purifies pores, it sloughs away dead skin cells with exfoliating acids to reveal a brighter, glowier complexion. Plus, it's smoothing coconut oil and lavender extract to help skin and calm inflammation. How to use it. Massage a penny-sized amount over damp skin and small circular motions. Rinse with cool water. You know, and this is one that um, I picked because it was the best one in the group. And I wasn't really pleased with it because I've got a lot of cleanses. But this does sound good. So, I think, I'm, I think they turned me. So, yeah, I think I'm going to like using this uh, cleanser as well. And last on the list is um, this YC collection. Uh, let me be first. Let me first. Primer. Or, yeah, let me first. Primer. And this has a value of $15.99. It says, this piece of hard to open. Okay, here we go. And it messes your train of thought when you're trying to open and read. Okay, so this blur blurring primer has a velvety texture that applies evenly. No pilling. I never heard of a primer pilling. Uh, no pilling, promise. And grips whatever makeup you layer on top for flawless all day wear. It's infused with a cocktail. Ooh, cocktail. They had me at cocktail. A cocktail of active ingredients designed to refine your pores and minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. After moisturizing, use a pea-sized amount primer, um, primer in an even layer all over your face using fingertips. It's vegan and cruelty-free. Alrighty, so let me be first primer. And I'm sure there's directions and ingredients on the back yeah we're not gonna wait for that to focus alrighty so again and I have a couple of primers and I, I don't always use primer I know that's bad probably because I I want to have like five minutes to get my makeup on and get in and out of the house and so whatever steps just cut it wiping down so it's got kind of like a really soft kind of pink glow and I've got other primers that I some I use you know, when I know that I'm going to be filming at the end of the day and I know it's uh, going to be a long day. Um, other ones I still have in, in the boxes. So it goes on pretty clear. I mean, I don't see a difference. Sometimes you put a primer on. Man, my hands look old. Why didn't anybody tell me my hands look old? But anyway, sometimes you put a primer on and it just kind of even uh, gives a little bit of coverage. So it looks like um, when you put your makeup on, you're, you're putting it on a, a nice, clear, clean canvas. And this one just kind of looks clear. It doesn't look any different. And I think uh, for primers, I like the ones that kind of give that flawless finish. And this one, I don't see it, but maybe when you put things on top of it, it kind of helps. But this one had a value of $15.99. So everything in my box, again, was $99.99 for the value. So I know I'm going to enjoy using these uh, Pulis primers. I know that I will, not primers, sheet mask. Nancy, Pulis is a sheet mask. Um, the primer I'll probably use at some point, but uh, like I said, I've got a lot to go over. And since I opened it, I probably won't be doing a giveaway of anything. The cleanser I didn't think I was going to be excited about, but it does sound kind of good because it looks like it does a little bit of exfoliating. So I will be anxious to give that a try. Um, the concealer, uh, yeah, it's just not my thing. Um, even though I do have kind of like a baggy type things under my eyes, I, yeah, I just don't use them. And then this, uh, lip oil that just kind of looks kind of dark. So, but that is everything that was in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Again, it costs $25 a month. And, uh, yeah, so you guarantee, usually uh, the average is about $120, but, uh, this time just seemed to be just kind of like more everyday pieces. I know sometimes um, I didn't have any makeup really that was in any of my choices. So I know that and when you get like palettes and some things like that, the and like really good skincare like eye cream and um, anything with a hyaluronic acid and some other things, the cost can go up. So it does vary month to month, but the choices this month just, just weren't really exciting to me. 
but I know I'm going to use some of these products. I know that I got over the $25 value. So yeah, I'm happy with my box. So anyway, thanks everyone for joining and I'd love to hear your comments if you've used any of these products and we will chat again soon everybody. Bye-bye.